Stone fruit is, is growing predominantly in the summer in central California. Um, when we say stone fruit, we refer to that as peaches, plums, and nectarines. Uh, there is some stone fruit during the wintertime uh, coming up from Chile in the southern hemisphere down in South America. Uh, predominantly though, the, the quality fruit that you'll see will be in the summer months, which will be the end of April, uh, May, June, July, August, into September is when we'll see our peak in quality on, on stone fruit out of California. There's over 600 different varieties of peaches, plums, and nectarines uh, growing throughout the, the West Coast growing region. The first couple of varieties will get started early on and they, they haven't really been on the tree very long and as, as you move through the summer they last on the tree a little bit longer and they get a little more size to them, they get a little better sugar to them, a little better sugar to acid ratio uh, which all equates into a better eating piece of fruit which will probably peak actually middle of the summer. These varieties, they're constantly changing, they're constantly having different eating characteristics. You can have anywhere from two, three different varieties at any given time early in the summer to we can have 10 different varieties of peaches being harvested at some point of their harvest cycle in the middle of the summertime. The harvest cycle for a peach nectarine can be anywhere from seven to 10 days up to two to three weeks. Uh, depending on the particular variety, depending on how the temperatures are and, and how uniform that product is maturing. The picking can be anywhere from two to three picks up to six, seven picks. Obviously growers want to be more efficient in their picking, but they also want to make sure they have a uniform, mature piece of fruit that they're harvesting. When it comes to stone fruit, the RJL bird dogs are extremely important. Uh, obviously, with over 600 different varieties of peaches, plums, and nectarines, there's a lot to choose from. But even within those varieties, you have growers that have different growing practices, techniques. They'll tweak things a little bit. They'll try to do things a little bit to where you'll have one variety that will be different from one farm to the next. If it's cooled right away, it will slow down the ripening process and this will allow the fruit to ripen uh, once it's delivered to the stores and it's on the consumer's uh, counters back home. Um, some retailers will actually want to have the fruit riper on the shelves, so they actually want it to continue to ripen out here and then cooled uh, and slow down or stop the ripening process when it's further along. This allows it when it breaks refrigeration at the store level to be a riper piece of fruit on the shelves. With all these differences and inconsistencies going on within the stone fruit, the RJL bird dogs are able to drive around and see what's going on from one field to the next and make sure that our customers are getting the best fruit that's available on a daily basis.